Hey Crafty Critters, we are back doing the Maned Wolf tutorial this time. This is Natasha with Spirit Animals Art. So in this uh, tutorial part, I'm going to show you how to do the armature. And what I've done is get a skeleton. I like to do that. If you don't have a skeleton, you can just get a picture. Um, I like all the little nuances of the joints and everything it just helps me see where everything is but not totally necessary so you need a few floral stems I happen to have these in white I got these from Amazon they sell them at stores like Walmart for, that are green that would work well as well it's gonna be covered in wool so you won't see it so I take the first one fold it in half twist it then you twist it down to where the shoulders meet and then you take your second one fold it down the middle put it over the top and I'm going to do a couple of twists ending with the short wire on the inside on each side this is the chest cavity area And I bring that around and make it meet in the middle. You don't want it to be too, too close together. You want to give a little space there and then you just twist. And twist until you feel like you have enough spine. And particularly on this sculpture, especially since he has long legs I'm going to give extra sturdiness with another wire on each leg so in all you would need four of the florist wires you're gonna lay one over the top of the front legs careful not to have too much tension in the middle and then you evenly twist it down just go ahead and take it all the way down on each side you're gonna do the same thing on the back so just give these legs some extra sturdiness they'll still be bendable but a lot uh, more secure Okay, so we have double wires on our legs now. And now we'll begin shaping where all the little nuances and the joints and things are. A lot of felters don't bother to do this many uh, bends and turns, but like I said, it helps me get my mind in the right area if I'm seeing it from the beginning. I like to start the shoulders by giving that little extra um, the part of the bone, the shoulder blade I guess that comes forward. And there's a couple of reasons for this. It's not going to show underneath the wool ultimately, but I find that sometimes on my sculptures the front legs will end up being shorter than I anticipated them to be so that's something that you could actually pull gently on and straighten that out some and give yourself a little more length or if they're a little bit too long you could bend it a little bit um, up tighter so that's kind of a little bit of insurance And because these guys have such long, long legs, like I've said before, it's okay to exaggerate that some in a sculpture. So I'm actually making the leg just a little bit longer than it would be on the skeleton because uh, exaggerated features is what makes it recognizable. When you see, if you were to see a short-legged main wolf, you would just think that's a funny looking fox or wolf you wouldn't think it was this crazy critter here that everybody loves to 
look at. I remember going to the Little Rock Zoo as a kid and seeing the main wolf there and that was one of my very favorite because they just look so funny. It was so different than any creature you would see. So when you get to the end here, um, the two wires, one was shorter than the other. And so what I've done is I go ahead and just wrap it back up the leg some just to make sure that it's got that nice sturdiness. We're going to clip these off here in a minute with some pliers. I don't like to clip too soon. I like to make sure I'm happy with the length before I go clipping. There's always a fix if you do make something shorter, but it's easier to have a little bit longer and clip some off than it is to try and add some. So now we're doing the tail. So you just need a pipe cleaner for this. It could be any color. Just pull it along the spine and then I always do it a tad bit longer than the picture shows because we're going to twist it, which makes it shorter. So I take it down the top of the back and then when I come back up I go underneath and then wrap it next to the other one so it's nice and uh, level. It's all going to be covered with wool but it just helps if you start your structure in the beginning with a good foundation then it follows through in the end. So now I'm clipping my wires. I'm going to make sure I'm happy with the length. And I'm clipping the front ones. When you get to the paws, you can always, you know, add a little length if you need to with with plain wool. And what I've decided to do on the back here is they have this bone that comes off at the back of the knee, I guess it would be called. Um, and we can make that with a toothpick and some wool or something like that later on. And I have done that and I've done it with the wire. I didn't like it with just one piece of wire, but fold it over. It should be good. All right. I'll see you back here again in the next video. Thank you guys. Hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.